Hello, I am trying to get this rocket back to my home world because I want to go on a mission, deliver some supplies and some dupes to Velesta. That is the oily asteroid, so I can eventually get some oil there. Now, I, in order to do that, I dropped off last episode a rover. So the rover is starting to set up the living area around here, which is good. But on the way back, I didn't have enough carbon monoxide to make it back to my home world, so I, my dupe had to stop in here. Now, I'm going to find a little bit of carbon dioxide here in Sagista. Now, I had built, or I had planned to have built a pump down here, and there's a good amount of carbon dioxide. There's, there's only one dupe here, and it's going to take a little bit of time. And I realize there's some carbon dioxide, actually, just where Explorer is at the moment. Good job, buddy, finding that. Let's uh, cancel that. And do uh, a pump over here instead. So we put that right here. And what I'll even do is dig this out so the yo explorer doesn't have that skill. That's fine. Maybe this will be enough, anyways. So I'm just gonna connect a wire to the actual electrical circuit, a pump or a pipe rather. This is going to feed into this one here, which ultimately goes to the rocket. Okay, so that's what I'm doing there. Got to keep an eye on the robot. I don't want the robot to stay idle. I've been trying to add some temperature protection from uh, over the zone. So start it right there. Let's continue that pattern. Essentially, just building up tiles. Okay, I can't break this one because that unfortunately is not oxygen. I can't dig that out because it's granite there and the robot doesn't know how to dig out plants. Ah, okay, so we got a vacuum here. I'll need to create a vacuum here, maybe then. This is kind of a complicated. Uh, set up. Okay, so I can create a vacuum here. And I'll create one by destroying this and this. Oh, i got to be careful of that piece of sand that may complicate some of the things. Let's fill in the sand first. While I working with while I'm working with a robot, I've made a list, and this is the list of things that I want to put into the rocket when it finally gets here that I want to send to the oily asteroid, and it's a a, a big list of things because I don't want to have to send a uh, rocket back and forth uh, just because I forgot something on the first trip. I want the first trip to the oily asteroid to have all kinds of stuff so I can set up a really good base and put myself in a situation where I'm going to be able to get oil and produce plastic. So first thing that I want to look at is ceramic. I don't have ceramic, but I do have coal and clay. So with a clin, I can build that. I want to build that's going to produce a little bit of heat, so I actually want to do that around a spot that's kind of warm, or cool, rather. So actually this over here would not be a bad spot for it. So I'm going to put three clins together. I'm going to have a storage bin. As I mentioned just a moment ago, that requires clay and coal. So I'll have a storage bin for each. And I'll put in, now I should have plenty of metal, cobalt. Oh, I can create some anyway. So it's going to have an auto sweeper here, and that's just going to take these two inputs and provide it into these, so the dupes don't have to do that. The dupes will just have to simply load clay. Let's pause it here, because I just realized I'm forgetting about robot. Go back to, and if you're wondering, Dampito is a world that I got access, well, sort of have access to 
Um, don't know why, but that happened. The other thing, well, let's see. Let's just check on this too. Is they were getting stressed out. So just want to make sure that they're doing fine. 34. Not great, but uh, I think the priority is the robot. Okay, so with that, I can dig this spot out. And then I can dig this spot out. Alright, and that is going to create a vacuum layer from this like little hot zone here. It doesn't connect to all of this, but it is still like 60 degrees that have leaked out in my livable area, unfortunately. I, it's a little bit of a mess where to go from here, to be honest. Um, let's just start from the top, go down. I would much rather have this rover concentrate on a living area and future possible food production. But uh, the temperature is just too important to ignore. Because when I'm growing food, probably the most important thing is I need a spot that actually can grow food for the appropriate temperature. I'm just going to start with mealwood. I'll probably switch to Bristol Berry in time. Robot doesn't do a great job of supplying. Maybe they can't carry a whole lot of stuff. Okay, so that's going to create another vacuum right here. Do that one, so I'll create a vacuum right here and here, and that will at least make progress towards this. Alright, two more blocks of vacuum. Robot will go down here, create one there. And where else do we need? able to do this. I'm not entirely sure if the robot can. Let's find out. We can build a tile there and hopefully be able to crack that one. Okay, and now I will get you to... Oh, they're going for it! Alright, so that gives me my protection from that little bit of heat that was leaking in. Got a spot here for water. What I want to do... Can they plant or put down farm tiles? One thing I want to know. They can. Okay. So we can grow some mealwood. I'll want at least uh, 20 or so pieces. Now I need 10 for a dupe, for each dupe at least. Because the dupes are ravenous. That robot is busy getting the food production. Not a lot is happening here. I'm going to say let's stop working that machine. What is the? I got to watch the priorities when dupes are alone. So one thing to look at: Ex Explorer wants to dig. Let's just kind of make them an average thing. Okay. I really focus on getting this pump built. Because that's the only thing you really need to do. Explorers, build that pump, fill this with carbon dioxide and get out of here. In the home world. Continuing to watch that robot. I'm fine right now. Okay, yeah, I want to put in some clay and coal. So, consumable coal. Let's put that down here and over here. Now, I should have a good amount from the hatches. And I think it's agri not agri cultivable. Cultivatable, so let's put clay in there. My dupes should start to load those two things once they have a little bit initial of uh, those two resources. I'll start creating some clay. There's the first piece of coal going into one of the bins. Okay, let's check on our tube, check on a robot. Some resources in there it is time to start to produce some ceramic. So we'll do nine nine pieces for all three. We'll see how much we can get. 
So shout out to Cybel for letting me know that it was the pug slug that was creating hydrogen in my, inside my rocket. And what was happening is a little bit of hydrogen from the pug slug would fly up here, hit this, and this would kind of be lower pressure, pushing more, more oxygen out and out until that oxygen become over pressured and I've got a lot of hydrogen as well. So with that knowledge, I see that hydrogen is going to be building up in this room. I'll just put this little uh, mesh tile here in high priority. Still looking at creating this pump or pipe. What is Explorer doing? Well, whatever they're doing, they're excited about it. Do not want to see an idle robot continue to build livable area. So bottom here is going to be for showers and the washroom. And then this one, one of these will be needing area, it'll need to be 32 in size. Uh oh. Well, I can get the, robot can't do this, but the dupes can dig into this in time. I also want to have a water pump built, a little bit of water. I'm going to be taking water with me, but I'll want to have an initial pump to be able to use. Oh yeah, don't have anything to power. That needs to be built as well. Maybe I'll put that right here. Small little battery. And oxygen generation. We'll start with algae and switch to electrolyzer in time. Now, with not a lot of area down here to store carbon dioxide and like, I think it may be a really good idea to be able to pump that out so that my dupes can breathe in here. Now, I might want to store that in a liquid reservoir because I'll need gas to be able to actually get back home. Okay, the, well, I'll have to wait for one of the dupes to do that, but that's fine. We'll worry about that bit later. As long as I've got the pump and the pipe goes out here, I can either worst case vent it if it's urgent or put it into a container if I've got the time when the dupes are here. So this pump has been created and I'm getting carbon dioxide as well as some polluted water or polluted oxygen. In there, can I get the robot back? Change of location. Yes, we can. Okay, so let let's shut down this world. I can turn this pump off. And I don't want to feed this for uh, polluted water anymore. So let's cut that water supply off. Regular water is going to be fine. So dupes do or explorer will do these two things, and then we can go. Just need you to do one of those two things. Oh. So you visited the pump and you didn't actually do anything. Oh, you decided you're stressed out. <sighs> okay. Robot is getting very low in power. Now that's not. Let's see. I have to, I have to decide if I want to have a washroom or if I want to have what I might do. Won't, certainly won't worry about the shower yet. I think I'm going to go for a washroom. So that will require me... I certainly want to have a sink. Maybe I'll make it such that the dupes don't go on break at the same time. I'm not sure I have time. Or the space, rather, to build everything. Let's just, let's just keep it simple. There. This doesn't really matter. Just need a place to store, at least for now, some fluid of water. So the robot's not going to be able to build that, but I uh, can get my dupes to do that. 
So this will be water going into the washroom. And I've got this pump here that's going to be taking carbon dioxide and that out. Don't believe that the uh, robot can mop, but the dupes can do that when they first arrive in this asteroid. So I guess to have you uh, explore. Okay, you cut that. Pump is off. We can now go home after quite of an adventure. So let's crew this, change this, set it to be going home, so that I can ultimately send this. It's all the not the right way. So we can ultimately send this to the oily asteroid with two dupes. We can launch sequence. Excellent. So built this rock crusher. And I'm gonna get fossil and eggshells to be converted to lime. I'll need this for steel production. Won't need it anytime soon. So maybe I'll just set that at a low priority. So if one of the dupes doesn't have anything to do, at least they don't need to uh, twiddle their thumbs. You can see the ceramic production is going well. I just made a realization that the Buddy Buddy plant is not a pretty plant. I have a mess hall instead of a great hall. And that's because decoration-wise, the decor from the Buddy Buddy plant is just not enough, apparently. So I'm gonna keep the buddy buddy plant. There's, there's nothing wrong with it being in the building or in this room, but I definitely want to have one of the other plants, uh, mithril leaf, plant it here or somewhere in this room, so that I can return this to a great hall. All one of the dupes needs to do is put a seed in that, and I should be getting a great hall. There we are. Miner's done it. Let's double check this. Okay, well, the plant needs to come alive. All right, it is now alive. It's a great haul again. And everyone's excited about that. Let's look on the rocket itself. I have 42 tons of water. That's enough, that's good. Let's build another liquid reservoir. Let's switch over to Cobalt, not cobalt, um, salt water, water, or brine actually. So, how's, what's the best way to tell this stop? I think literally just if I cut it here a little bit, the water will drop, drop down, but it's not really gonna. That won't matter. Okay, let's cut that. So, oh, I already built the brine line up to this point. That's good, that's good, that's good. I can now get a dupe to enable this. Actually, hold on, no. That's only gonna give me the five tons that's sitting inside of that. That's not what I want to do. What I want to do instead is disable this and get the pump to push brine up here, going all the way to the top. And I'll connect it into here. And once that is all set inside my rocket, I'm going to be loading some brine on top of water. And that's what I'm using for, or that's what I will use for cooling on the other rocket. Let's look. I don't have any cobalt or ceramic. Let's look at cobalt. How much is in this world? Two, uh, two tons. That, that's enough. I, I'll take two tons. So that is cobalt. That's refined metal. Down here, cobalt. That's 24, that was the amount of glass I recall. I want two tons of that. And as I recall, the ceramic was still a little warm. No, it is not. It's 18 degrees now, so it is cooled off. So let's put some ceramic. I'll just take all the ceramic. Well, yeah, I'll take all the ceramic because I can create some more as long as I can produce clay. Which I'll do soon enough. Okay, so that's gonna be clay is a raw mineral. Sorry, not clay, ceramic. Basically, all the clay that you have dupes can go in this rock, and that's it. Well, we're waiting for the brine. And once I have enough brine in there, and I think three tanks full, that's 15 tons. 
Very thankful early on in the game I released these two geysers to produce a lot of cool liquid. Because I've been just draining the polluted water. And it doesn't seem to matter because this thing keeps pushing out more and more of the stuff. So, very happy about that. All right, I think that is, well, the dupes have to load this, but that may be it. I'll be back, unless something significant happens in the gameplay, I'll be back when this is loaded. So, see them. Since the rocket is nearly completely loaded, I'm going to put the two dupes that I want to go on the mission on the skill scrubber. Because when they arrive, morale is going to be quite low. I want them to have the minimum amount of skills so they don't freak out. So my RB, the first one to get their skills removed. At the point, I want to uh, connect this little area with oxygen. So the idea here is I want to do some construction in this area and want to have this little area that uh, dupes can go back into. Because I'm still a little bit paranoid about using the masks though. With the more metal, how much cobalt ore do I have? I should definitely be keeping an eye on that. Because if I have a lot, I probably should just do masks. 19 tons, I've used quite a bit of it. What did I have, 50 or 60 tons when I got here? Um, yeah, I'll do this for now, and I'll think about switching to masks soon. Building an incubator right here, because I want to put the smooth hatch egg that's currently at 40% through that. Not really in a rush, but I'm just excited to get that thing uh, born. We'll give this dupe that's working here some light access. Automation to turn lights off when they're not needed. And I don't really need any, it's just the one egg. So I don't need a system to take care of eggs that have already been processed. Next dupe is going to be scientists. They've got a lot of skills. I do want to, because uh, they've been le leveling up various different things. I was debating whether to send Explorer or one of the other dupes. Explorer, though, has gained a lot of skills. The original six just has so much more. Scientist is one of the dupes that actually start from the very beginning. Plus, I might want to get them to uh, look at the stars from this asteroid. They might figure out what some of these things are, and scientists can do that faster than any other dupes. Let's look on the rocket. Five t no, it's not quite five tons. That's working its way to be another five tons of brine. That will be uh, pr pretty close to 15. Maybe I'll just, uh, I won't have to create another liquid reservoir. I'll fill this last one with brine, and I think that's it. Only thing else to be added is food. That's a very important thing, so make sure I do that before this rocket takes off. Smooth hatch is getting the lullaby, or smooth hatch egg is getting the lullaby effect applied to it. Can now remove it, and I'll get it to sit there. And it's just going to hatch that much quicker. 20 extra percent get uh, over this cycle. Just before I get this rocket on its way, I want to deal with the carbon dioxide that's built up in here. So building a carbon skimmer. I'm going to put all the brine inside here. I'll have water reroute it to be able to go in here. And pollute water to exit. This. Now this is going to be polluted water that does not have any food poisoning, so I can actually put that inside the base. I'll just drain it at this point. Having water being directed back inside the rocket, got this new power station manual generator that is running. Once water arrives, I can start to remove some of that carbon dioxide that is built up. Because this is a tiny rocket, I'm going to remove the carbon skimmer. It's just going to be there for now. But in the larger rocket, I'll actually keep one there forever. All right. I don't know. Should I wait for that little dot of carbon dioxide to filter? You can make it up. How much is 40 grams of... Oh, sorry. That was polluted oxygen. All right. That's enough. That's good enough. Remove this. Remove this. 
And we'll go back to putting an outhouse in here. Do I have dirt? Make sure that's the case, because that's what an outhouse will need. I got a ton of dirt that, uh, that feels like it's going to be enough. And with calories, that's another calculation I have to make. We've got two dupes. They're going to be traveling over here. And they need food when they land as well. I haven't done the preps for the rocket itself. So, let's see. I don't... Uh, I'm, I'm going to need a trailblazer. Actually, that's all I'm going to need. Okay, so dupes just need to make a trailblazer and we're good. As well, of course, load some food into this. Very, we'll be departing very shortly, dupes. Don't you worry. Dupes are taking in some barbecue meat, putting that inside this, so I have 16,000 calories. Alright, that's currently be losing its freshness over time. 25% per cycle. Um, and I won't have a fridge where I'm going. That was only 4 kilograms. It's, uh, you get a lot of calories of barbecue meat for that weight. Um, let's say this the best case scenario we get 4 cycles. I'm going to need 2,000 calories for each dude. That's 4,000. So four, 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 and four. Probably, it's probably gonna go, honestly, on the fourth cycle, something's gonna go bad. It's already, it's not at 100% freshness. I feel like that I should have had three kilograms of that, but I'm, let, let's, let's look, let's go with that. It is now time to give one of these dupes, I've got scientist and, and miner that's going to be traveling. The scientist is going to be the one that's going to be piloting. So let's give them that. Miner will have, fortunately, they have radiation poisoning, but do I wait for them to have radiation poisoning? Let's see, is it, is it minor radiation poisoning? Vitals. It is this. minor radiation poisoning. So that that just affects, so that just affects their stamina and bathroom use speed. But yeah, which isn't great. But uh, I don't think it'll last too long. I think we're okay. Minor, you're you're gonna be just fine. Okay, so let's, let's look at the skills for minor. When I actually, I'll give them. Uh, their digging skills so when they land they already have a little bit better digging as always with rockets going to save this I'll call this the oil rocket if I can type <laughs> there we are backup save I think this is going to do it for this episode there is a little chance that the beginning of next episode, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm loading back from this point because so and so, such and such. But I have a checklist that I went through. This wasn't just kind of randomly thinking of all the things I've got to, all the algae that I can get, three tons. I made eight ammo suits. I've got 16 tons of brine. I've got a buddy buddy seed to help with stress. Ceramic, even 20 tons. Cobalt, almost 20 uh, tons. Or no, so almost two tons, not that much. Cobalt ore, however, 22 tons, so quite a bit of that. So I won't have to search for metal ore when I get there. Dirt is... Hmm, dirt. How much dirt is on this world? Because I'm going to be growing mealwood. Uh, yeah, let's, let's add more dirt just before we take off, unfortunately. This, uh, I don't think this will take too long. I'll throw in, let's see, five tons. If you can do it, dupes, B2. 
be quick, be very quick. I'll do this as a high priority task. Next will be egg, non agriculture. I always mix that up. Cultivative soil, dirt, dupes, start loading, start loading. Okay, well, the dirt that's in the rock you just put in there didn't really help dupes. I meant grab dirt from the world, from the asteroid, throw it in there, please. And that looks like what you're doing. Okay, five tons. That is, uh, I want a 10, 10, 10, 10, oops, let me turn that off, oops. So 10 tons, or you could do it dupes. And that's just grow meal wood, that's gonna be my initial food source. Actually, I won't worry about it for meal wood for too long, because I'm gonna be switching to Bristol Berry and water. <laughs> Bristol Berries take water and light. Um, and I have tons and tons and tons of water. Did I get to the water aspect? Okay, let's just pause it there. That's good, dupes. Um, where did I leave off with? So that was dirt. Now I have 10 tons of dirt. Ah, glass. There's no glass on here. What, what did you do with the glass on me, dupes? All right. Let's reload that. I don't know where what happened there. Empty the dirt. I want 2,400, or yeah, 2,400 kilograms just of uh, glass. Let's make solar panels, dupes. If you arrive there and you don't have glass, you're going to be on the manual generator for so long. Do you have some glass for me, rancher? Let's speed things up. All right, close. All right, while the dupes are doing this, let's go through the rest of the list. Two, two uh, tons gold amalgam. Mealwood seeds, 26. I need at least 20 minimum to feed the two dupes. A little bit extra would be nice. I should be able to get some mealwood seeds there too. Reed fibers, 30, and can't quite see because of my screen how much water is here. Let me just take the algae out. <laughs> 45 tons of water and food is there it's going bad so you know what it is finally time let me do another save because i've lo loaded that new material i will tell scientist and miner they are part of the new crew for this going to change the crew explore you're out scientist you're in miner you're in we're gonna go crew that we will change the location now that does not have Sees that's it's four no matter which one of those two. So that asteroid does not have a platform built yet. That's why I've got the trailblazer. It's not fueled to be able to return. That's okay. I don't expect them to return. I mean, they're gonna eventually return. I don't expect them to return right away. Begin launch sequence. Nice. That rocket is on the way to Vitalista to set up a base, bring back some oil that's going to allow me to produce plastic and do a lot of really cool things. So I think I'm in a good space right now with uh, within this game because of all the materials that I've got going with me. Okay, I had a near heart attack. Oh, I see. All right, so I, I don't know why the glass was unload it from this rock or maybe I, I forgot to, to load it but anyway let me just dump that on the ground and I can see class still says zero okay I'm just gonna assume that's just a, a bug in the game there is glass in the rocket there's oxygen from the for them to breathe there's food for them to eat and they are actually so one of the things I'll do that's not producing oxygen right now because they have no power even though they have algae and electrolyzer, need a power source with a battery. Well, no, need the battery, but it's a lot in the Easter fight too, so they don't have to stay on the manual generator. Not that they have much to do apart from pilot. That needs to steer and find out directions to this new asteroid. Well, new to them, I have been to it with a uh, robot. Actually, one of the other dupes went to the edge to drop that off. That was Explorer, I believe. And 
And, uh, yeah, I think this will do for this episode. The next next episode, this rocket's going to land. And I'm going to turn this into a thriving base, at least for the two dupes. Start a process of cooling this place down because it's really hot. And extracting some of this new material, including oil. Well, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Till then.